Okay, I'm narrating this video because I had problems with the sound while I was recording it. Turns out you can't actually hear what I'm saying most of the time. So I decided to narrate instead. The basic premise of this mission is uh, to protect the president. I'm playing the part of a leader of the Secret Service who are tasked with protecting the president. The president has two objectives to fulfill. You can go to two or three locations and give a speech. The speech takes about That's 30 what? seconds to, uh, to do. And it's the Secret Service's job to protect him while he's giving those speeches and transport in between the two locations. Our plan was basically to split up into two teams. So we have four SUVs, two with the President and two driving around running his decoys. The two SUVs split off from the convoy and headed straight for the villa. Our initial plan was to sneak through one of the fences and go and the to the villa then give our speech and get out, hopefully before they realised we were there. Unfortunately when we got there we realised that there were no holes in the fences so we ended up bashing a hole in the fence and knocking it over with one of the cars. I don't see any hole. Tell me you boys didn't bring wire cutters in this show? What do these Americans pay you for? Tax dollars at work here. Is he gonna grenade it? I hope not. She's not coming down, sir. Not coming down. Unfortunately, we were seen by uh, one of the guys on the roof. But luckily, he seemed to be the only guy there, at least initially. See, no, are we driving the cars up there or keeping them down here by the fence? Two of us went through and swept and cleared the house yes, I am and kept you, one of the, uh, the one place. lookout busy. Contacting. Now you enter my home. Oh, I see how it is. Just go around wherever you want. You and your big dog president. Too we didn't have handcuffs. That'd be pretty cool. Yes, that's right. You leave. I didn't see anything. I see big dog Americans. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. I was doing fine until Pig Dog Americans came here. Leave, I do not want to hear you and your president's speeches. Hey, look at that, look at that, look at that picture. It, it, it is a nice picture, I, I admit.
to look next? We basically kept the lookout busy on top of the villa while the president gave his speech. Hey, what you looking at, man? The garrison runner uh, back at the villa now. Look at your presence up. enters my ground. I promise you, if you do not leave, there will be repercussions. I'm here and I talk no more coffee, and how Obama served his third term. I propose a solution of promoting everyone responsible. My running opponent and menacing saw puppet, the pro pimping movement, is a bad a blue car approaching? Because they can't handle the truth. Peace out, skin dudes. Guys, I'm having frame run issues up here. Can someone come up here and watch this guy? Get out of the vehicle. We started taking fire through the side entrance, the same entrance that we came in through. Luckily, our decoy cars had just arrived at the villa. So we ended up going out back out to the, um, through the back door. And getting into the decoy cars. Definitely got one out here. Unfortunately, we were, most of us were cut down. In fact, only the president and I survived. On the roof, roof! Ah! Yeah, shooting! He's shooting! Sir! We've got to get out of here. You're the closest one, Xenon. <laughs> <sighs> When I realised it was only the president the one that I, got, you're uh, I got a car, as you can see here, and just drove out with the president. We're friendly up. Oh god. At this stage we're trying to figure out what the hell we're going to do. We decided to scrap our initial plan of going to the mosque, which was the well. next. Uh, objective and go to the warehouse is a little bit further out and further away from the villa and it's a little bit more uh, there's a little bit more cover there Shit. I think it's just you and me, Mr. President. okay we got one more speech I'm afraid for my life What's that? The warehouse is to the north of where we are now, isn't it? Copy, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm getting such a piss poor frame rate, I think I've got a lot of Danny Boris skinning in the background. Oh, there's a guy. Yeah, I definitely do. Just a sec. Okay. Lost a lot of good men back there. Sure did. Okay, this road, they should take us to the warehouse. 
Yes. It'll be up here on our left. Here it is, right here. Actually, it's a little bit south of us. It's not this building. Uh, no, it's not. It's up. It's up the street. So go straight. So right at the T intersection of this road, it's the building right here to our left. Okay. Right here. You'll hear the president giving his speech in a moment. It's actually an ad action, so you have to run into a, a location. You can't just give the speech anywhere. You're gonna have to run into a location and then recite a. Um, a text script that shows up on the screen. They're actually written by Shaktek members and tend to be quite um, quite hilarious. I am the Overlord TJ and I have to talk no more coffee. Talk this real in Palestine and becoming fast friends. I propose the solution of ignoring it. The running opponent, the Hulk of No Ma'am, is a bad choice because I think that I saw them punching babies once as a group. K bye. Done, sir. Yeah, I made it back to the car and managed to get shot. I'm in. Oh, they shot me! Oh. Or did they? Oh no, uh, did they kill the president? I think I'm not no, they killed the bodyguard. Oh. President's on the down. Oh, they're gonna kill the president now. Huh? You can see here no, one of the, uh, well, one well, of the op no, four. They hit the president. They shot him. Oh, He's taking no, the president for secret service and shooting him oh, in the face. Wow. So in the end, nobody wins. Wow. We just this cold wow. water kill the president. Nobody wins. What? Yeah, I'm the eagle. Why is it? Okay, I'm. Yep, they killed the president. So everybody loses.